What do you think about her? I got the impression that this AI when I first saw this. When I first saw that, and like there's another one, I think. There's there's also another one that I saw. I think it was a blonde girl that kind of looked AI-ish, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> Maybe I'm just, I'm just thinking that it is, but it's actually not. What about her? I think it I think it is. It's hard to tell nowadays. I don't really look at a lot of these Instagram pictures or you know, these selfies. What yeah, sometimes I can't I can't even tell anymore. Yeah, it's not obvious because you, you can't see the sixth <laughs> the sixth finger. But okay. yeah, it's it's scary if those are all legit AI, right? These are all AI. Scary. These are one hundred percent all AI, and yeah, uh, these and, and we talked about this before. How like AI influencers are actually becoming a real thing now, right? Like you're basically a guy in like fucking India or some Pakistan or whatever, fucking using uh, Chat GPT or whatever thing, uh, making making girls and stuff like that and turning him to uh, a- AI stuff, right? Like for me, like I use it for AI, like I generate AI waifus and stuff like that, but it's like. It's never on a scale of looking so realistic like this, right? And it's only going to get better and better and better. So this is actually from this um, this poster right over here. And basically said that use this prompt and type it in, right? They give you the exact prompt. Type everything in, copy and paste, and you will get her. Right? So if you go down, this is the same girl, another girl right over here. So this guy changed it into a guy, right? Changed it a little bit. Change that you add another seat. Like now you have another arm coming out and stuff like that. But yeah, but it's just going to get better and better and better moving forward. And people will not be able to tell. Now, imagine if you show this to like a people in a courtroom for a jury, right? So it's like, oh, you're gonna need photo evidence. Like, imagine this is your photo evidence. A lot of these people will not be able to tell. Some it's gonna be in order for people to to, to counter AI. Is to use AI to check whether or not it's AI, right? That's the only way that you can tell. <laughs> Remember, we had Jay here, uh, uh, uh early this year. We had him on a uh, drunk 3PO. Shout out to drunk 3PO. We we showed him a, a Sora AI, which is like the videos, right? And basically like police, like uh, police body cams, and that was at its worst. And people can't really tell already because it's moving, right? It's a body cam. Now it's just getting better and better and better, right? So yeah, I, like the thing is that it's I I feel like it's going to be very very scary moving forward, is because yeah. this is also AI. Yeah, this is AI. Like, it, the scary part is like if videos re- really evolve in a massive way, and we know it will be. Imagine like you know making generating like a dash cam footage of someone getting shot. It turns out nobody got shot and stuff like yeah. that. Crazy, yeah, yeah. These are all AI, all right. So basically, you can be a red dot Indian in fucking Bangladesh or something like that, right? And you yeah. go over there and you say that, oh, Elon Musk said that I could make a lot of money monetizing my account and making a lot of money from these Americans, so I can make lot of lots of revenue per month just using this AI uh, AI chat GPT and using making fake horny girls, right? So doing that, like it's, I think in, in this way, like, and it, like you can't even check the fingers anymore. The fingers, there's four fingers. This, this is correct. This is correct amount of digits, mm-hmm. right? It's going to get better and better and better, right? You can tell like the Iron Maiden, it looks a little bit too clean, right? Right, yeah. and it's like, but the thing is that, like, a lot of regular people will not know this is fake. Yeah, yeah. Right? You have to analyze whether or not this is real or fake. And you, if I'm looking at this, I'm like, all right. Like, you have to, like, every fucking pixel, you know, yeah, like, the skin exactly. and stuff like that. Like, who is this base off of? And that, like, it's like this Pikachu, like, the, the signs in the back and stuff like that. How about there's no writing or, or, or any kind of, like, things in the back, right? You can't tell. Right, you can't tell. Yeah, right. He has Kanye. <laughs> See, not the, he, like celebrity. This is uh, America's top model, right? You get a uh, fucking uh, th- 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 this old model right here, and then you have uh, Elon Musk. So, 
like I said, I think, like, if you show this to your parents, you show, you show this to your mom, hey, mom, what do you think about this? Right? Your, your, your mom probably like, oh, yeah, this, 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 you know, this is a white girl. What about her? Right? You know, like, if I show this to my dad, you know, or whoever, right? And, and, and like, yeah, what happens if you're using, like, AI to commit a crime? Right? You're using that shit to, um, you know, you, you have, like, oh, uh, I, I, have, I have a footage of, of uh, you know, Gray yeah, right. robbing a convenience store. Exactly. And, like, how, how can you tell that's real or fake, right? In order yeah. for you to tell us, you have to use another AI to check that whether or not that's real or fake. Mm -hmm. So, like, regular people cannot use that shit anymore. So, like, it's it's going to be worse and worse and worse. Of course, in the beginning, it's all going to be about like you know um, how much money you people can scam off of people who are horny. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's like, I agree with you in everything. Like, it's you know. It's getting worrisome on how this will be regulated, especially, you know, it's, yeah, fabricate an artificial video so you can accuse someone of a crime. Oh, this person did this, this person did that. So it's like, before it used to be, oh, it's very clear this person actually did it because of this video. Now it's like, is this video even real or not? Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, it, or if or if someone actually did it and you can, that person can just, oh, that, that video is just AI generated. So it becomes much more complex. Now, in that, yeah, given that context, which is crazy, in my opinion, it's like I don't know. And like, we have all these multinational corporations, you know, eating up all the RAM, and now RAM is super expensive so that they can develop their tech even further. So, yeah, the next couple of years is going to be really scary when it comes to AI generation for sure. Yeah, and I think that, like, if if you're a girl. And you're making OnlyFans. Your job is done. Come on. Like you, you already have like someone like Susu, Amaranth, and a bunch of other these like OnlyFans models that use their likeness with AI. And they're already pushing out like AI nudes of themselves oh. and stuff like that. AI on AI text, AI phone calls and stuff like that. Okay. On the flip side. We can do it now too. <laughs> yes, we can. Right? That, that, that's the other side of it. We, anyone yeah, so, can do it now too. Yeah, like if, if you actually go on like Instagram or something like that, you go to Instagram, you see these like hot models and stuff like that. Like there are, a, there's a high chance, maybe like seven out of 10, six out of 10 times, like it will literally be an AI person. Mm -hmm. Now, and that's, and that's why, why I tell everyone, everyone that's in the chat or everyone's watching right now. If you are paying for OnlyFans, you deserve to have your money stolen from you. Okay. The girl might you know. date me, Phil. That's 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 the if value. I, if I that's pay her value. ten thousand, fifty thousand, seven hundred thousand dollars, she's gonna go. She's gonna go out with me if I did. But that's sooner or later, sooner yeah, or later, looks, this is going to happen. Yeah, it looks like crap now. That. It's like, but this we're we're just you know barely barely scratching the surface of this tech. Yep, crazy. Yeah. So so basically, if this happens, yeah. it's over. It's you're literally gonna, over. We're we're gonna see like eighty year olds, you know, going along with like twenty year old looking robots like this. Like, yeah, we we're so cooked, man. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's watch this. Let's watch this. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. The, the, the thing is like it it's going to happen. All right, it's going to happen. You, it it like, is it is. Didn't, didn't you guys watch that one movie? It's called like The Leprechaun and he goes to like Vegas. Right? And like he basically was like he, he there was like this guy who goes into his um his apartment. Well, it's it's not some it's not like this, but sort of like this. So like he sees like a hot girl, like he turns on, he's watching porn, right? It, it, this this movie's in the nineties. 
And then that guy shows up, like uh, he's watching porn on his like oh uh, he's in he's in uh, Las Vegas. He's watching porn in his hotel. And then the leprechaun sort of curses the um the TV, and the girl crawls out of the TV, and begins to like sort of like oh take off his clothes and so she's already naked, right? And what happens is that like it's all in that guy's mind, and then that guy actually starts getting electrocuted and he dies. And what happens? The leprechaun turned that like that. That real girl was actually like a robot the entire time. Oh, like th th this. This was in the movie back in the nineties, right? So, like for me, like it's it's like I I guarantee you. Like I said, it's only going to get better. This is like they will always release a female uh to a male first, right? They're gonna release the girl versions first. Because a lot of lonely guys, you know, the, the, the male loneliness epidemic or whatever you guys want to call it, right? A lot of men are lonely and stuff like that. They feel like they're never going to be good enough for a woman. So they're going to, um, they're going to have something like this. They're going to buy it for like $10,000, $20,000, right? The girl's never going to talk back to them. The girl's never going to complain or whine or, or fucking like, uh, you know, not do the dishes or whatever. The sandwich is always going to be cooked and stuff like that. So once it sells and it basically launches this is going to subsidize for the lonely women they're going to have men like male versions of this right eventually but the, the it's going to yeah. be the, the the women are going to come out first though mm -hmm. and yeah, eventually man. it's not, it's not for me it's like eventually it's not going to just cost it's not going to be unaffordable it's going to be like the cost per unit it's gonna be affordable even to the masses. Like it's not gonna oh, yeah. cost maybe at first it's gonna probably gonna cost hundreds of thousands, maybe for the really high end model. But it's like eventually they're gonna bring down that cost lower and lower once they scale, probably a thousand, maybe even less for for one. Yeah. At that point, I think humanity we're gonna die <laughs> as a species. Now I would say the only way that like for sure, whereas like woman woman's cooked is if it can also have an operable womb right for, for like an, like for instance android 18 right android 18 like her uterus works so like like if, if it's going to be like android 18 then i think i, I think that that's it yeah and then eventually all these AI, you know, will go rogue. Like give they're like the superior race. So they're just they're just gonna wipe us all out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Thanks for checking out the segment from the Project Egg Row podcast. Make sure to catch us live every Saturday at 7 p.m. Also, be sure to subscribe and we will see you all there.